بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وعلیکم السلام ہاؤ یو الحمد للہ اوکے ڈو یو ہیو اینی کیوری اور کوشچن ریگارڈنگ دا پریویس لیکچر دین یو کین آسک آل رائٹ اٹس واز ڈن دیٹ ایپلائزیشن اینڈ پروسیسنگ اوکے وی ہیو کیوری ریگارڈنگ آر لیکچرس ریڈ اٹ کائنڈلی اینڈ ٹیل می وٹ ڈیڈ یو گیٹ فرام دی سنیریو بیسکلی وی ہیو اسنیریو and we have to do some activity the scenario is a b form and we we have to make a database a relational database for our b form it's a marut b's you can do your activity according to the scenario and according to the los whatever that we have discussed in our earlier lectures activity 1 using the information you have been provided with some additional external research plan and produce a design for a complex relational database on a response to client brief normalize the data up to third normal form produce design documentation in response to the client brief ensuring this shows the design of the tables indices and constraints sql queries forms macro and security measures okay up to this do you have any question all right from now we will discuss design tables and er diagram means entity relationship diagram you can take the following steps to slip, uh, split up tables with data dupl- data duplication identify columns with duplicated data split it into ta- two tables one for duplicated columns one for others identify primary keys add primary key from table with duplicated columns to other table as a foreign key now you can check that we have a department column that have duplicated data also we have product in which we have multiple duplication of data occur for example like in the liter of milk a kg of bag of potato sugar kg so milk is duplicated data and 3 meter hdmi cable it is also duplicated data so we have specified column named as department and product through which we can split our data table identify columns with duplicated data okay this table made on ms access you can see that okay but i recommend you to take and practice on the software of php mysql or um, sql queries a software on which uh, like oracle on which you can run real time execution of your queries and also uh, some uh, we have some different type of syntax in all three software but majority of the queries is same so it is totally up to you whether you want to use ms access or microsoft uh, ms yes ms access or uh, mysql php mysql the difference is between both software is ms access is easy and it is totally for the beginners but mysql is totally scalable and you can run your real time queries uh, that can help you in the future and that can help you to build a scalable skill on the My, uh, mysql queries okay wait we have azan here bilal and uh, najma we have a scenario okay and you have to do activity you have to do it in this class okay okay sir bilal how are you uh, excuse me sir uh, i didn't understand yes what did you just say what do we have to do in class yes you have to do this scenario based activity in this class yes and right? uh, okay. uh, did you guys done this scenario 
Not yet. I just went through the assignment activity okay. questions. Okay. Basically, the activity is you have to normalize the tables that can that can it can be available in this scenario okay you have to read this scenario you have to extract your function function requirements means you have to uh, separate your function requirement from the um, raw requirements then you have to make your database tables uh, at first you have to make a database with the uh, register name register means you have to make a database of regarding Marut bees. And then in that database, you have to make your tables and that tables are, will be your requirement from your requirement, okay? I will check how you can elicit your requirements and then you have to perform your activity number one in which your two LO2, LO1 will get cover. Okay. Two LOs will get cover. And uh, whenever you will done your assignment, you will submit it. Okay. Uh, 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 sir, only activity one? Yes, activity one. Okay. Okay, sir. So in this activity, you have to perform normalization of your database, database tables. Okay. Up to third normal farm. I have told you that we can do normalization up to six normal farm or five normal farms but you have to do it on third normal farm and uh, you can document it with reasonable design and you can write your sql queries how your sql queries will work in this uh, performing in this activity one your forms what are the security measures did you get on this database okay like how you can implement the login of your database how you can do security measures on your database how you can do security measures on your database table to secure your data okay so this is totally lo1 and lo2 and your lo1 and l2 will get covered in this activity any question uh, no sir okay so identify column with duplicate data you can identify column by your naked eye and also by your queries okay here we can see that department name extension number manager manager grade floor number of staff next staff training day and sale target achieve columns are short duplicate values so you have to break it down and you will make it sure that the duplication of data will not occur in next time you have to normalize it okay make sure that the same duplicates always occur in the same row where department name food so is duplicated it is always duplicated with the 4571 as the extension number and when it falls as a manager so this the extension the record that belongs to same name will must be belongs to the same values in the same row okay if the value is repetitive and the all properties or the all values of the related um, property is not concerned and not joined then there must be some error and how you can rectify it you can rectify it through your queries you have to take care of your queries while you can write in the execution of Processor. Processor means your uh, executor or query executor split into tables. You will need to split the flat file table into two. And how you can do that? You can do that with the department table. And department table has some column, department name, extension number, manager, manager grade floor number of staff next staff training day sales target achieved these attributes or properties or column names will be in the same department table then in the next table you will accumulate the properties or 
attributes or the column name as product ID, product name, cost, number in stock, and department. Here the department uh, act as a foreign key. Okay. Identify primary keys. You will need to identify a suitable primary key for both tables. The primary key field should not contain duplicate values. If it you will need to identify a suitable primary key, the primary key field should not contain duplicate value. If the primary key hold duplication of data, then you have to take care about that. The primary key does not allow duplication of data. If so, then you have to replace it with the foreign key. Okay. Fields that are an ID number are usually used as primary key fields because the ID number cannot duplicate it if it is auto incremented. Okay, tell me how much of you know about auto incremented value. Mark the primary key field by underlining it, or you can also mark it by steric sign. Okay, primary key is the one from which you can identify any table and any table attributes. If primary key and also primary key act as a foreign key. Why? Because it is auto incremented. Auto incremented means whenever the record uh, generated in your database table, the previous record will be saved. But for the new record, it re the record value, the previous record value, the previous primary key record value will get incremented by one. Okay. And at that stage, if it is the uh, we have five uh, records in one table and our table or our update query or our insert query execute with one record with one valid record then the five will get auto incremented by one and make itself into six and at the six space at the space number six the newly generated record will be saved this is how your auto incremented get work remember although we split the table based on the duplicate value the duplicate row will be removed why this is due to the fact that whenever the duplication of data will be remain in our table then it will make it corrupt and whenever data analyst do some operation related or saved in that database then the corrupt result he will get at that execution time so in order to getting saved from that time and that behavior of data we will make it sure that the corruption of data and the duplication of data in our database table will never get accumulated add a foreign key the final step is to link the tables by adding foreign key. Here you can see that department is the foreign key in this table. It is denoted by static, by underlining, or by showing a key key value in the primary key section. If department name is the primary key, which is not, uh, why is the department? Okay, department ID, basically the department ID is the primary key, but you can also take it department name if you have only one department regarding any um, object in your store, then you can make it also primary key. The uh, primary key from the table that contain the duplicated values should be added to the other. Here the primary key of department is added in the next table because we have duplicated values in the department section. Mark it with the static or the letter FK means foreign key to indicate that it is a foreign key. Here we can also mark department name or product ID as a PK, as a key, as a static, or as an underlying attribute. Here we use underlying attribute. These tables should now be used to create an ERD entity relationship diagram. Okay, how many of you 
know about ERD? Kindly let me know about this. Alternate approach, non-atomic data. Okay. Another way to split your database is to look for non-atomic data, a partial record. For one department could be presented as follow. Basically, whenever you see a non-atomic data, then you have to make it combined with another non-atomic data to make up complete data atomic data okay because the partial data can corrupt your database or can do some uh, corruption in the result of your database another way to split your data uh, and it is done here we have department name full store manager is when falls manager grade is senior extension number this and up to so on then product name it is one liter of milk one kg of pratos one kg of sugar and up to so on and then we have cause any field that includes multiple values such as product name should be split into another table primary key and foreign key can be added as described above in this section here we have erd and Entity relationship diagram shows the table that make up a database and relation between them. They can also show the individual attributes or fields in each table. ERD are the one of the two design documents that you require to design a database. Basically, be ERD can you can design your ERD in two designs. The one that you know about how you can make it just like in the MS Access, then the drag and drop from the primary key to foreign key of the second table, then you can write it in the physical form as a table name in the uh, um, rectangle. And in the circle, you can write the uh, attribute name or the column names like department id department name uh, manager name manager grade what is the floor of, of that manager what is the floor of that department what number of department of uh, what number of staff a uh, department hold so these are the information that you can design on the physical form like on the paper and department have multiple products one department have multiple products how i identify it because we have a crow here on products so the crow here shows that it is multiple times of single one one single department holds multiple multiple product and similarly the product have some attributes or column names means product ID, product name, what is the cost of products, and what is the department of that specific product. One to many relationship. Entity relationship diagram must show the type of relationship between the tables. At N5, you will only use one to many relationship, just like here. Here we have one to many relationship one department holds many product in one to many relationship a row in the one of table or table number one can have matching row or matching values row in the other table however each row in the other table can only match one record at one time means for example if we have a single product but that product will be identified by its department and that specific product will not be present in any other department okay so for example in the cosmetic department we have a cosmetic product and uh, just like a soap a beauty soap and it belongs to only cosmetic departments not any other department so this is how the recursive process occur in our relationship diagram a one to many relationship will be denoted with the line with a crow's foot at many end of relationship here we can see that the crow's foot is at the many end of relationship 
a single department holds many products. Department has one to many relationship with products. A department stocks many products. A product is only stocked in one department at one time. Okay. You can stock one beauty soap in that specific department. Okay. For example, a soap name ABC that is very famous in KSA. A department stock as beauty soap named as ABC. Okay. Now you want to buy that ABC soap, then how you can buy it? Okay, go to that department. Then if you don't know about that department, then you have to make sure that that ABC soap is present only one department. If it is present in some other department, then that soap must have some variants. Okay. If that ABC soap is present in multiple departments, then you must have to check that the soap that you are looking for might have some variant or not. Okay. And what the what is the variant name and what is the total specification of that variant of soap ABC that you want from that specific department? You must have to know about that. Okay. Okay. Questions. Answer question for sentences. Describe what is mean by entity relationship diagram. You have to specify, okay? Describe about one to many relationship and you have to split this flat file table just like in this assignment, okay? Just like in this assignment, you have to make a splitting of table, normalize the data means normalize the data into uh, up to third normal form it means you will get tables a database a database that holds some tables and tables are the data of that database you have to normalize your data up to third normal form okay. just like this table the movie id column has some repetition of data okay movie name have some repetition of data year of release has some repetition of data character id is non-repetitive character name is non-repetitive and description is non-repetitive the record would be dummy one like added from our end in x now okay any other question basically when you develop your database you will get you will get the normalization of data but you will do some dummy record i think so but i hope so whenever you do some marut bees scenario then you will get duplication of data i think so i think you have to add five records okay you have to add five dummy records okay Nisma, you have to read this scenario and whatever your query is you can ask okay basically we have a b form and you have to extract your requirements from this scenario okay after that you will get to know that how you can deploy your database and what was what will be the name of your database okay after that you have to perform which name is suitable for specific database table okay for example if you want to make a table of orders then which name is suitable for that table it is an example okay it is not sure that i am showing you that orders must be um, available in the table section all right and you have to deploy five records five dummy records in which 
actually duplication of data must be present okay and you have to present it so i will check it out and give you some recommendation okay the next one is split the you have to split it again okay that table is different and this table is different here we have pupil id means student id okay uh, first name last name registration of class course id course name and room number now you have to take care of this you have to create a er diagram that includes the fields okay now check this you have to perform an uh, activity that create an er diagram that includes fields using the following analysis nodes okay we you have two analysis node kind of fields and data types a field is a single element that holds some information about something okay just like we have a player information table and in that table we have various fields like player id player name player uh, date of birth uh, and player whatever the um, information that we want so these are the fields when designing our database table database fields have some number of properties to describe how information will be stored and the data type of field describe what sort of information it will store for example if the field name is id and its data type is number or auto incremented number then it will not store the character type data or string type data or the abc type data okay it will only store numbers 1 2 3 4 5 this affects how the information is encoded in binary on the computer this affects means due to this property or due to this information you can encode your information on the computer database data types include text in which you can write anything numbers you have to write in only number date date will date data type will accept only date okay date of previous date of present or date of future time time database will only store time boolean will store only true and false okay different database will describe these type differently data types text only use text text fields store letters numeric alphanumeric and symbol american system of computing two or unicode is used for storing text numbers number field store only numeric values date dates field are a special kind of num number field just like when you want to in, uh, store date of birth then you can use data type as a date okay multiple numbers are stored in binary to represent the component parts of date years month and day so multiple numbers are getting stored in date in one and composite data type composite means multiple number combinedly make one data type number time time field are special kind of same like the date multiple number are stored in this also just like uh, our days month i think uh, hours uh, minutes seconds and milliseconds boolean boolean store only true and false yes or no instead it is possible to store a boolean field in a single bit this bit is the smallest and smallest storage capacity of some memory so you have to store your boolean field or boolean answer in that bit other types that are not covered in national level 5 calculated graphic hyperlink and currency hyperlink means uh, a link that can redirect to you currency you know about currency graphic graphic will uh, just like the google map link whenever you click a link you will redirect to some graphic type level and calculated means you have to perform some calculation of data and that data is stored in that calculated field 
field properties when defining the fields of database these there are additional properties that you have to be considered in addition to field types the size of field how much storage space is allocated for each instance of that field basically uh, you have to define the field size how many of characters and how many of uh, inputs that a field can hold for text type field size will be the number of characters that can be entered into that field it can be 10 it can be infinite for number type field the size will be the number of bytes used to store the number this directly affects the range of number available and the accuracy to which they are stored okay tell me that in case your phone number your contact number how much character can made your your contact number in pakistan we have only 11 12 13 14 characters basically we have 11 characters in our basic phone number but we have to add three more characters in our phone numbers to make it international dialing number 8 to 10 and internationally so we are 10 number okay internationally your phone number hold 10 character right so you have to define the phone number or contact number and the field of that number will be size of 10 the field can include a validation rule for example what will be the validation rule if validation rule is if the number is less than 10 characters then the field is not allowed to store that number okay you must have to input 10 characters for the saving of your that uh, specific record for example here we have Muhammad Ayaz and uh, his phone number is up to 01234567189 here we have 10 number right and this is the contact number of Muhammad Ayaz now Muhammad Ayaz is filling some form and the validation rule is behind that form field of contact field to say if Muhammad Ayas input 10 characters in the contact number field then the form will get saved and move on the next field if he is unable to provide me 10 characters of contact number then validation rule says I will not let him go in the next field so this is the validation rule either your data is valid according to the size and the field of the database or not a validation rule limits the value that can be entered into that field of database if the value does not meet the rule now Muhammad Ayaz input nine values in the contact number then the validation rule is not matched okay so the validation rule will not let him go in the next field it says it will not be stored in that database so Muhammad Ayas will not be able to store that specific data in that database okay any question no sir okay data dictionary a data dictionary is used to indicate the properties of all attributes fields in an entity table for example what will be the data dictionary of the following table of product can you tell me that in the chat section or either in the mic table of product will have field like product name quantity cost etc okay data dictionaries will usually include the name of field or attribute name of field attribute so here we have product id field and the attribute is number okay so that number is the data dictionary of product id means its data type it is not compulsory that it is a primary key or foreign key so if the field is required if it must be entered when creating current record sometimes this will be included as a validation rule instead any validation rule 
for example product id must be present while a new record is generating itself okay for example if we automate the system and ai generating a record of uh, bilal okay and bilal is uh, buying a product which is a soap the previous example and that soap has some product id product name its cost number of stock and department so if that soap name is not if not present then it must be some validation rule corruption for example the product is here but the product name is absent okay so you can specify on the name of product a validation rule and that validation rule will say if the product id is present the product name is present cost is present number in stock is present and department is present then the actual product will be shown in our department or in our store if not then the product must be at hidden end and or or it will be out of stock in the store whether you provide some details of in stock or in market or in tag but if the validation rule is not matched then you cannot put that product in our store or in that department okay so this is how validation rule will get for questions fields and data dictionaries what is data type of field what do fields need to have data type describe in details the information stored and how it it is stored for four field types create data dictionaries based on the following analysis notes you have football team you have to prepare data dictionary football team have a name a stadium and the year they were founded they also have a badge and a manager okay so you have to make data dictionaries according to the scenario football team in assistance of you guys i will make one football team have a name okay so name has some text value okay that text will be the data dictionary a stadium stadium must have some name so that name will be a data dictionary and the year year is stored in date and date is the data dictionary also have a badge badge have some name and grade okay badge have some name and grade badge name is in the text text will be the data dictionary and grade grade is the number so what will be the data dictionary of badge grade can you guys tell me data type of badge yes actually okay the name of badge is stored in text form so text is a data dictionary and the grade of badge means uh, you uh, nisma you are uh, having the badge of athe level 1 okay now what will be the grade of your athe 1 obviously and 1 is the number so what will be the data dictionary of your badge grade numerical number yes so this is how you can create your data dictionaries okay you do not need to create validation rule okay you just have to create your data dictionary validation rule a validation rule limits the value that can be entered into a field if the value does not meet the meet the rule it will not be stored in that database validation rules can prevent inaccurate data okay so this is how validation rule 
will do a security measure on the behalf of admin okay validation rule can prevent inaccurate data being entered into database prevent error in the processing and the presentation of data happening as a result as i have told you before it will corrupt if the validation rule will not work there are a number of type of validation rule that you need to know range check how much range that you can do some input length check we can you can do only 10 numbers in the contact field this is how your length presence check uh, contact uh, info must be present or the product name must be present unique check the id or the cost of product must be present or the cost of product is equal to uh, for example if, if a soap is, uh, beauty soap is uh, 10 real then the actual what will be the retail price or the actual price of that beauty soap restricted choice you can restrict your choice by default or um, by your choice on or by some administrator choice range check validation how you can do range check validation this is the formula greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 10 the contact info okay range check validation is defined using comparison operator and values range check validation shows that the data entered fall within the given range range check validation is usually used with the numerical value including currency date time fields this range check validation rule only accept the number between 0 and 10 you can chain as many comparison and logical operator together as well length check validation length check validations ensures the values entered into a field are of certain size length check validation is usually used with a text field as numbered are stored in different differently in a computer the length or len function is used in conjunction with the comparison to create a length check for example length of mobile number must be 11 this rule force any value enter into the mobile number field to be exactly 11 characters long not short not enough long other comparison com com operator can be used to specify minimum and maximum length for a field logical operator like and can be used to ensure the length fall between two values presence and unique check validation presence check validation shows the value entered into a field or not a field must be present check validation cannot be left empty unique check ensures that the value in the field is different from the corresponding field in the other records just like the id unique check primary keys automatically automatically use both presence and unique check validation automatically okay only primary key use presence and unique check automatically restricted choice restricted choice validation limits the user to select a value from a list instead of typing in restricted choice validation should be used when there is a limited number of acceptable acceptable values for example playing position in the table footballers might restrict the user to choose from goalie defender midfielder and striker restricted choice validation should also be used for foreign key this can help ensure that the user only enters values that are stored in the link table that you can choose only the given values you cannot write in or out you have some questions i will ask three types of questions regarding four questionnaires if you have any question then you can ask you can carry out a validation rule file you are performing some practice in mysql and also you can perform some validation rule with some queries okay now guys take this scenario 
you have been appointed you all okay you have been appointed as a database developer for marud bees the company have some recently set up a new business and it currently keeps bees bees means honey bees okay the bees produce honey pollen and royal jelly and the beekeeper also raises queen bees to sell to other bee farms marud bees produce honey to sell alongside special product made from the royal jelly that is produced by the bees the owner has asked you to design and build an advanced relational database that will allow the beekeeper to record the details of following okay up to this if anyone has some question okay now you have to keep the record of these bees queens customers staff order payment product supplies and you have to perform this activity now you have some information and you have to do some additional external research how you can design complex relational database okay up to this you just have to make a database with some suitable name and then after that you have to design some data tables with suitable names and include some dummy dummy data in which the duplication of data must be present then after that you have to normalize it up to third normal form and all step you have to document all step in response to me because i am the client and you have to document all the designs of table all the indices of table all sql queries that you executed forms leave it leave the forms and the security measures so your activity one will get done any question you can do with php my admin just by executing queries and also you can create database on clicking the objects or the widgets whenever you create some database with suitable name the sql query will be executed at the back end you just have to find where in the tab at which tab the sql sql query will get execute okay so you you just have to copy it okay and write it document it okay yes in excel you can do but it is only drag and drop and with the widgets screen, no screenshots you have to give me a proper documented design yes tomorrow